Hello everyone, here in this video, I am going to show you that how you can improve your contact us page like this. So here you can see that this is the improved version of the contact us page. But before that, this is looking like this. So for example, you have a Shopify store and you wanted to improve it. So how you can do it step by step, I will just give you steps and you just need to follow along with this video and you will make it more beautiful like uh, this store okay so let me show you how you can do that you should go to the dashboard of the store and here you can see that i have installed down theme if you have any other theme then still this will work i will show you how so you should click on these three dots click on uh, duplicate once you are duplicating this theme because later on if you wanted to roll it back to its original version so you can make it happen then after you should click on edit code and here we have some folders and files so uh, basically uh, firstly we are interested to uh, do what actually we wanted to put this contact us page and then we want uh, this description so how we can do that so you should go back to the dashboard and uh, go to the customize so basically this is a customize uh, part where we can actually put the title and description so for say example i am clicking on contact and here you can see that we have page so you should hide this so it will hide that uh, contact and you need to create another section which is like uh, rich text so for example i am adding this and you can see like uh, how this is looking so we don't need any button we need to add here contact for example this page here you need to copy so i am going to copy paste here but we are interested to make it bold so you should select it and click on bold and then after we have some information so for example this information we want so you can copy this and then after you can paste it right here here we go and you can save the changes so this was the first thing which we have uh, done and if you wanted to put some space on the top you can click on this rich text and you can increase this space from here top padding and then after you can also reduce a little bit space from here and then save the changes now the next part is that we are interested to make this uh, border circular so how we can do that so basically we need to add some css so we should go back to the dashboard and here we have the edit code option so you should click on uh, assets and here you will see base.css or maybe style.css so you should scroll at the bottom and here we are actually going to put some css so let me show you how so the first thing is that you should right click here click on inspect and here you will uh, let me refresh it yeah so now you are interested to uh, make it circular so click on it and here we have after so basically this is a field element uh, which is inside of this contact form so we are going to copy this id which is contact form so go back here use hash paste that id and then after you should copy this field uh, so copy this and then after you should write here dot because this is a class name and then we need to uh, specifically add on after so here i am going to write after and then inside of it we are going we are going to write uh, border radius for example 5 pixel okay so let me save the changes and let's see the preview like how it looks now so let me refresh it back here we go now you can see that on each of the element the border is circular if you wanted to increase the number of pixels you can increase it but now if we are clicking on it you can see that the border is not exactly a circular so how we can make it happen so basically this is the field input where we have to put this border so let me show you how you should copy maybe go back to the dashboard so you should uh, copy this and here you need to write maybe you can go to here in the new line paste it right here and inside a field we have this field input so you should copy this and write dot and then paste that class name and again write here border radius 5 pixel click on save and you can refresh it now so let's see the changes I clicked here you can see that the border is looking great now everything is circular alright 
so that's how you can actually improve it now the last thing is that we are interested to put this uh, send button in the center so how we can do that so basically you should click here and here we have contact button you should copy and uh, this is basically inside of uh, this uh, form contact so you should copy this uh, ID first <coughs> so you should uh, write here hash because this is the ID and space then after you should write here uh, this contact button uh, you should write dot and then contact button and here you should write text align center and then you can save the changes so let me see you should refresh it back and here we go and we are also interested to uh, make this uh, border circular so how we can do that <coughs> we need to click here and here we have the uh, after this is in the after so basically what we uh, have to do is you should copy this contact button for example I am pasting it right here uh, wait a minute let me copy again contact button you should paste it here and then after we have the button you should uh, copy this class name dot button and then you should write here after maybe you write these two columns after and then you can actually write here border radius for example 5 pixel Let put in the after then copy this complete uh, line uh, add the comma then paste it right here and then remove this after only and keep the button and let me save the changes now and then you can refresh it back here we go now you can see that the uh, border is border radius is circular one more thing is that for say example you are interested to put this kind of color so how you can do that you should click on inspect and here you will see that in this button we have this background image so we basically uh, wanted to put here in the button so you should copy this paste it right here we have contact button dot button and inside of it uh, basically we also need to add this uh, id so you should paste it right here add space paste it right here add space paste it here and add space and then after inside the button we are going to copy this uh, this image background image actually and then paste it right here then click on save and let me refresh it now here we go now you can see that we have send button with different background color if you wanted to change the background color so how you can do that you can actually uh, select this uh, click on this color picker and you can change any color you wanted to or maybe you can paste the specific uh, color code for example I am uh, moving this so you can see that in the left hand side the color is changing alright so in the same way this shadow this will also work like this can you see this is a kind of gradient which is also working according to our color change so you can actually try different colors if you wanted to but this is looking more beautiful now so you can actually make it happen uh, let me refresh it back and now you can see that this is looking exactly what we had here all right so that's how you can actually improve the contact us page if you have any problem or something you can ask me i will help you out in that so feel free to uh, add the questions in the comment section so if you have any new feature to develop you can still uh, contact me uh, I will be happy to help you out in that. Recently, I published a video related to a complete uh, store, creating a store. So let me show you what exactly it is. So that is in the refresh theme, but uh, in the other themes, I will also publish uh, in the coming videos. So here you can see that we have a header, sliding header. We have images mark you. We have uh, autoplay video with text, uh, text with icons. Can you see? then we have a big video auto playing and uh, we have testimonials if you are going to the track order page we have track order uh, page where we can actually put the order id and then track the order we have faq page we have improved the contact us page then we have a lot of other uh, stuff like for example if uh, you are going back to uh, the product and here you will see that we have number of customers viewing our uh, product and 
and uh, yeah that's it so if you uh, yeah one more thing is if you are scrolling down you can see that we have a sticky add to cart button also so i have already created a lot of videos on this so i will uh, add the links below in the description so you can watch that and implement it into your store so thank you so much for watching this video if you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel also like this video you can also follow me on tiktok instagram and facebook and i have also created a whatsapp group where you can join i will uh, keep sharing the content over there so thank you once again see you in the next video